Hi guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds and I'm back with another exciting episode of Money Moves brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service. So I'm back with the PR chick again this week. She's going to tell us all about LinkedIn and how to maximize the use of that space. Welcome back, Naomi. Thank you, Kalila. I'm happy to be back. So LinkedIn is definitely one that I don't use much. It's the, the neglected child for many people when they think about social media. Yes. What's so special about LinkedIn? Okay, so LinkedIn is it's also a social media platform, so let's also be clear about that. It's a social media platform, but it's really for people in business. So whether you are just getting into the job market or you are a seasoned professional or you offer a knowledge-based service like coaching, you need to be on that platform. There are currently 500 million users on LinkedIn. Ooh. And so there are lots of jobs happening. There are lots of opportunities um, for whether it's clients, sales, or leads. And if you're not there, then you're not even being considered. And what I find here in Jamaica especially is that we tend to use our LinkedIn page almost like a resume holder. True. And so we put our resume with all of our qualifications and accomplishments and the current job that we're in, but we don't actually put what we do. So if you are a teacher and you just put that you're a teacher, there are probably 200,000 other teachers there. What do you teach? What is your specific area of expertise? And so LinkedIn gives us a lot of opportunities to really showcase who we are and the value that we offer. And so you have a headline, a summary, and then you get into your qualifications and your experience. But what you need to attract someone to your page first is a good headshot. So I've gone a on headshot. a headshot, a professional a nice photo. headshot. And so even if you can't afford to get a professional to do it, you can still take a professional looking headshot by finding a nice clean background, dressing the way that you want to be addressed and recognized and getting a great um, camera to just take that picture. And you use that. Once you have that, you can use that for other social media platforms and not just LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. But why it's important is that we are visual people. So if I'm considering hiring you to work at my company, I'm going to be attracted first by what I see. And the first thing I'm going to see is your headshot. Sometimes I'll see people doing selfies or they don't have a picture at all, or it's so small or grainy that you can't even like, see is this anything. Even, is this even a real is person? Is this even a real person? And then there's not enough information, even in your headline statement that tells me what you do. So in our last episode, we spoke about the importance of creating that one liner for your brand that really speaks to who you are and the value that you bring. And you can use that same one liner for your headline statement for LinkedIn. So someone should quickly go on your page and be able to see your image as well as that one liner thing that tells them exactly what you do. Because if you don't attract them there, they're not going to continue to read down into the summary and into everything else that you do. That's great. So it's just important to actually be on the platform. Um, I find that people don't update their LinkedIn pages. So you'll search for someone and it still says they're in a job that they've been in like maybe 10 years ago and they're no longer even there. But people are looking and I find that in Jamaica, a lot of HR recruiters are looking on LinkedIn before they really? even post an ad in the newspapers oh. because you can search for exactly what you want. So if you're an expert in industry and you're not even in that space, then you're not being considered and you have to go ahead and send in your resume with everybody else when you could actually probably have an opportunity just because you're using the platform and people can find you. But is it a platform that one would use day to day or is it just something that you basically make sure it looks nice, you have your nice picture, your headline, no. your one liner? And, and I think that's the problem. People will say, okay, I've updated my resume, I've updated my LinkedIn page, I'm gonna leave it alone. Just like any other in, um, social media community, you have to be active and engaging. So if you are an expert in industry, you want to start positioning yourself as a thought leader. So you want to start either sharing articles that you have written or sharing articles from someone else that speaks to your area of expertise. So people are seeing that this is actually what you do. Start following people that are like-minded. Start following companies that are similar to what you're doing or you want to be associated with. So it's just like how you use your Instagram or Facebook page, but this is for business. So this is where you can actually make money. Right. So you can either get the job that you want or get the client that you want or attract the right people to you, but you have to let them know that you're there. So much information in such a short time. Yes. You're a boss chick, Naomi. <laughs> the PR chick is what she calls herself. That's it for this edition of Money Moves, brought to you in partnership with Exim Bank's Business Advisory Service. We're teaching you how to make your money move and your business grow. Check out their website, EximBankJA.com. I'm Kalila. See you next week. Okay. <laughs>